Well, it's still kind of hard to believe that after four years of work, Slough Creek is finally out there for everyone to play. But waking up to see 500 bug reports waiting for us to look at does help that reality sink in, I guess. So first, we've just been rolling out the first patch for Slough Creek, version 106A. And that has a couple important fixes, one of which is for some players, when they get to Slough Creek and start up there on Little Butte, the camera gets stuck. Super annoying. And that's fixed now. Sorry about that. A weird, fairly rare bug. But we had enough people playing that it happened to quite a few people. Another thing very embarrassing that the uh, mate commands tip was wrong. It said to growl to send your mate home if you're out in an excursion together. And... Uh, the actual command is woof. So that's fixed now. We have an alert at the beginning of the game now, and you'll see once. And just remember, woofing means go home if you're out and about with your mate or if you're at the den with your pups to send them into the den. And we've made some tweaks to the rate that territory hexes decay, which will make it a little easier in general in the established territory quest. And it will definitely make it easier when you're on easy difficulty and raising pups. That was, that was set too high. Sorry about that. There's a bunch of other fixes in the patch, so be sure you've got 106A. And in fact, we're rolling out 106B in the next few hours, um, which mainly has a tweak to the stranger wolves at the beginning of Slough Creek in established territory. We're knocking down the strength of their hexes a bit. So they're gonna have to spend a day or two strengthening their hexes before they start expanding. So that'll give you a little more time to claim your own hexes. And we've got lots more to work on. So this is just the beginning of improvements and additions that we'll be doing to Slough Creek in the next month or two. A couple other things, if you've got one of those new MacBooks that has the Apple Silicon M1 chip, there's some weird bugs with that. And now that we've got Slough Creek out, we are gonna focus on those more and uh, see how soon we can get those fixed up. And if you're running the game on an older version of Mac OS, 10.11 or 10.12, unfortunately the territory doesn't render anymore. We can't figure out why, what changed. We're still looking into it, but the only solution right now is to upgrade to a new version of Mac OS, which may or may not be something you want to do on an older Mac. We'll still see if we can figure that out. Oh, and if you've been playing Slow Creek and are confused about something or uncertain or need some help, remember we have, we have this whole help section in the game with detailed information about each quest and other tutorial tips. Some of these right now you have to scroll down to see. We're going to try to rearrange those better. And uh, we also have all this stuff on our knowledge base on our website, so you can browse either one, whichever is more convenient to you, to get some guidance because everybody needs a little guidance now and then. You can also get help from other players or just share your experiences on social media. It's been fun watching all the activity there. If you haven't joined the Discord group, that's probably the, the liveliest place. And uh, the link to that is uh, in the text below. But of course, there's also the Steam discussions and the WolfQuest forum discussions in Facebook and Twitter. But Discord really has kind of replaced the old WolfQuest forums as far as the most active community for the game right now. So now that Slough Creek is out, we may not be doing weekly dev blogs. We'll still be doing dev blogs, but if we miss a week, just means we don't really have anything new to show that week. And um, and we'll do one as soon as we do have something cool to show. And finally, some old timers might have uh, thought that the Slough Creek release trailer looked a little familiar. A couple months ago, I looked at the original release trailer for Slough Creek and thought, you know, that's a pretty good storyboard for a new video. So I kind of use that as my guide. And if you haven't seen it or haven't seen it in a while, here it is. And I think it does show you how far the game has come in the past 11 years. Mm -hmm. 